Good afternoon. I'm Becky Robert, faculty in the Conway School of Nursing and one of the co-chairs for University Research Day, and would like to welcome you to our research awards ceremony hosted by Provost Dominguez. What an exciting day it has been. I hope you've enjoyed the many innovative and diverse research presentations here at Catholic University. Our award ceremony will begin with a few words from Provost Dominguez, and he will then announce the faculty research awards for 2021. Following the faculty awards, Provost Dominguez will announce the first year experience essay prize winner. He will then move on to the research day student presentation awards. Dr. Dominguez. Thank you, Becky, and thank you everybody who's participated in, in uh, <clears throat> research day this year. And this year we're pleased to be giving three awards this afternoon in addition to the student research day awards that will follow. We'll be giving two provost research awards to faculty and the Phi Beta Kappa first year experience essay prize to a first year experience student. We'll start with the provost award for achievement in research. This award is given to a member of the faculty whose achievements in research have had significant critical reception and are recognized nationally or internationally. The nominee shall have shown evidence of accomplishments that extend or deepen the boundaries of knowledge. The 2021 award is given to Peter Lum from the Department of Biomedical Engineering in the School of Engineering. Dr. Lum received his bachelor's degree from George Washington University, his master's degree from Caltech, and his PhD from the University of California at Berkeley and San Francisco. Dr. Lum has been on the faculty here since 2005 and is currently the chair of the Biomedical Engineering Department in the School of Engineering. Dr. Lum is the director and principal investigator of a rehabilitation engineering research center initiated on September 30th, 2018. The center is funded by a competitive five-year award of $4.6 million from the National Institute on Disability Independent Living and Rehabilitation Research of the Department of Health and Human Services. Catholic University is the prime awarded institution with subcontracts to MedStar, Children's National Hospital, and Johns Hopkins University. This award is highly prestigious with 19 centers around the country, including centers at several top tier research institutions such as Duke, Carnegie Mellon, and the University of Michigan. This elevates Catholic University's research reputation, which will be reinforced by an annual uh, center director group meetings the focus of this collaboration is patient-centered mobile technologies to assess and treat sensor motor impairment in individuals with neurologic injury. Dr. Lum was selected in the fall of 2020 as the inaugural recipient of the Professor Robert Meister Distinguished Faculty Fellowship, the highest honor for a faculty member within the School of Engineering in recognition of his outstanding research accomplishments. In the words of his nominator, Dr. Lum is simply put the most productive researcher in the School of Engineering, which is particularly impressive given his role as department chair continuously since 2012 and his service in the academic year 2017-18 as the associate dean for the school. He's also the highest funded faculty member in the entire School of Engineering with a career total of external funding of over $18 million, including this center grant. Would Dr. Lum please join the webinar as we express our congratulations. Congratulations, Pete. Would you like to say a few words? Well, thank you, Provost. I'm, I'm deeply honored to receive this award. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge uh, the many students and colleagues that I've had the pleasure of working with uh, it's always a team effort. Uh, I would also like to thank the School of Engineering and the university for their continued support of research, including the university's research administration that helps us submit the grants, execute the work, and spend the money. Thank you again. I'm very happy and honored to accept this award. Congratulations again, Pete. I've got a question for you. How, how has being here in Washington, D.C. affected your work by giving you access to other institutions and collaborators? Well, uh, coming from biomedical engineering, 
uh, collaborations with uh, medical centers is critical. And being within a walking distance to a suite of uh, top level uh, hospitals, including uh, Children's Hospital, you mentioned MedStar, National Health Hospital, as well as the Washington DC VA Medical Center, uh, has been critical to my research in terms of access to patient populations and also research oriented uh, clinicians. So it's been a vital uh, DC area. Well, very impressive and well done, and congratulations, Pete. Thank you. The next Provost Award is the Young Faculty Scholars Award. This award is given to a member of the faculty for demonstrated achievement during the first four years of appointment at the rank of assistant professor and promise of potentially significant scholarship. The 2021 award is given to Richard Gallenstein from the Department of Economics in the School of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Gallenstein received his bachelor's, master's, and PhDs from The Ohio State University and has been on faculty here since 2017. Dr. Gallenstein's work specializes in development economics and his research focuses predominantly on issues related to risk management, agricultural investment, and microfinance in developing countries. In less than four years at Catholic University, he has already published seven publications, six of which are in the top tier A or A plus journals, and has additional two publications under review, also in A plus journals. This is truly an outstanding performance for a junior faculty in the field of economics anywhere. Publishing in these top journals is very competitive and highly technically demanding. In addition, he currently has seven additional research projects on the way. Dr. Gallenstein has also received two grants from the US Agency for International Development since his arrival at Catholic University. He's presented his research at 11 conferences since 2017, and has also been an active participant in international Catholic economic groups. He was elected to present a paper in the Economy of Francesco event that took place earlier this year, and is actively involved with the Catholic Research Economist Discussion Organization. In the words of his nominator, Dr. Gallenstein has more to offer than being only an outstanding researcher. He is also a fantastic person, the type of colleague and professional that has a great desire to serve, contributes to building collegiality, and is committed to advancing the research agenda in our department and the university at large. Would Dr. Gallenstein please join the webinar as we express our congratulations. Congratulations, Richard. Wow, thank you so much. I'm incredibly uh, honored and humbled uh, by this. Say if, if you'd like to say a few more words, we're really proud of you. Yeah, yeah, I would love to. Gosh, I, there are so many people I'd like to thank. Um, I'd like to thank everyone uh, you know, in the university, you, yourself, um, uh, everyone in our school. I'd especially love to thank my colleagues, um, especially those that nominated me. I have incredible colleagues in the econ department, uh, people that really inspire me. Um, it's amazing to see their level of devotion to the students and to research. Um, I also want to thank you know, all of my co-authors on the papers and uh, everyone I've had the privilege to work with over the years. Um, I want to say thank you to all of, my, all of my now friends that I've worked with. A lot of my work is in Africa, so I've gotten to meet and become friends with um, you know, so many colleagues in, in Ghana and in Tanzania who I, you know, who I love and I want to thank, um, you know, give great thanks to them. And I just want to also say that I'm incredibly honored and humbled, uh, you know, by getting this award. I hope that in, at least in some small way that the work can, you know, give glory to, give glory to God and to, uh, and be a service to, to the poor and to the, to the vulnerable. So, I hope and pray that uh, this and future work um, will do that. So thank you. That's very beautiful. You really are um, serving God through your work, Richard. This past year has really been anything but a normal year for all of us. And I can imagine that the international aspect of your work really has probably caused um, it to be disrupted more than perhaps most. Um, tell us a little bit about some of the issues you've faced and how you've adapted to this uh, unique situation as a junior faculty? Yeah, good question. It's It's been a mix. Um, 
some of it, some of the timing, um, I it kind of worked in my favor. Just, it just happened to, I, we finished a, a large round of data collection in early March of 2020, right before the lockdown started. Um, now, with that said, I had a bunch of other activities in Ghana. I have an ongoing project in Ghana, um, and we had a bunch of other activities scheduled, including uh, a couple of field visits uh, in 2020 in the summer and in the fall. And all of that we had to cancel. Um, and we're just now kind of starting to pick back up again, hoping to um, implement some field work uh, this summer um, and this fall. But it hasn't all been bad. Actually, earlier this year, just this semester, um, one of my students uh, who presented today at Research Day, his name's Sean, he designed a survey and we were able to remote train a, um, a friend of mine in Ghana uh, to implement the survey, collect data, and he had the opportunity to present it today at Research Day. So uh, it hasn't all been bad. We were able to get some data this year and uh, I was really excited that he had the chance to present it, so. Well, congratulations again and thank you yeah. for your work, Richard. Yeah, thank you so much. The next award is the Phi Beta Kappa First Year Experience Essay Prize. This was established as a partnership between three organizations on campus devoted to encouraging excellence in research informed by the Catholic intellectual tradition. The Undergraduate Research Journal Inventio, the First Year Experience, and the Catholic University Chapter of Phi Beta Kappa, the nation's oldest academic honor society. On behalf of the members of the Phi Beta Kappa First Year Experience Prize Committee, Dr. Herbert Hartman, Dr. Taryn Akuma, and Dr. Jennifer Paxton, I'm pleased to present the second annual Phi Beta Kappa First Year Experience Essay Prize to Maria Erquiaga for her essay entitled, Psychology Meet Vernacular, Vernacular Meet Psychobabble, which she wrote for Dr. Emily Aliano's section, honor section of English 101. The essay explores the advantages and pitfalls of using technical psychological terminology in popular culture. It is thoroughly researched, persuasively argued, and beautifully written, and therefore embodies the best of the qualities that the first year experience prize strives to, uh, strives to foster in its students. And the Phi Beta, Kappa, Phi Beta Kappa Society seeks to recognize in its members. Would Maria please join the webinar as we express our congratulations, Maria. Congratulations, Maria. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, um, Provost Dominguez. I'd like to thank um, Drs. Hartman, Akuma, and Paxton for uh, selecting my essay and giving me the chance to be published in Inventio this year. Um, I'd also like to thank the Inventio staff for their help with editing. And uh, thank you to Dr. Alianello uh, my English professor from last semester, and all of the professors and teachers who've taught me how to ask questions worth exploring and write essays worth reading. That's great. Tell us a little bit about how you chose this particular topic for your essay. Sure. Um, so I've always been interested in how language shapes the way we think. Some ideas just don't translate well from language to language or even group of speakers to group of speakers. Um, and since that's largely a psychological question, I thought, well, why not write about it with the language of psychology? Um, so I wanted to demonstrate the effects of using psychological jargon too frequently in how we think about psychology and how to promote real mental health awareness. We have to be careful what words we're using and how we apply them in everyday context. Very true and very impressive. And congratulations again, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. This concludes the awarding of the Academic Area Awards from the Provost's Office in, for 2021. Congratulations once again. Becky? Thank you. Now it's time to turn to the Research Day Awards for student presentations. As part of the research day, our committee has the privilege of selecting the finalists and award winners from among the many undergraduate and graduate oral and poster presentations. The finalists are posted on the research day website, which is researchday.catholic.edu, and we congratulate all of them. This year, we will be giving out one award each for the best undergraduate, master's, and doctoral oral presentations, and one award each for the best undergraduate, master's, 
and doctoral poster presentations. Provost Dominguez will announce each of the awards and the lead presenter will join him to receive congratulations. As a reminder, the awardee will experience a brief interruption during the Zoom transition, but this is momentary and will allow you to appear on the screen with the provost. Remember to unmute and turn on your video in the lower left corner of your screen. Dr. Dominguez. Thank you, Becky. Our first research day award is for the best poster by an undergraduate student or undergraduate team. The winners are Nathaniel Gunasarakaram, Zachary Tucker, and Yesenia Enriquez from the Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Department in the School of Engineering for their poster titled LoRa for Long Range Tracking and Distress System. The group was advised by Dr. Kevin Russo and will be represented by Nathaniel. Would Nathaniel please join the webinar? Congratulations, Nathaniel, to you and your entire team. Would you like to say a few words? Yes, thank you so much, Provost Dominguez. And everyone who made Research Day 2021 here at the Catholic University of America such a success, even on Zoom. Um, you know, as engineers, everyone knows that we can make a lot of money, but that's really not the reason that Christ would have stud studied engineering or carpentry for that matter. And it's not the reason why my teammates nor I have taken on engineering. As engineers, we believe that we can use our God-given minds to really help people. That's why we've set our sights so high in taking on a difficult major like engineers and in becoming young engineers. The ZYN innovations team consisting of Zachary Tucker, Yesenia Enriquez, and myself, Nathaniel Gunasekaram, are so grateful and humbled to be a part of University Research Day and to have made it so far. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Nathaniel. Tell us a little bit about your team, um, what you learned about the research process itself by putting this poster together. Well, absolutely. Basically, what we've done is manufactured a product that we might be able to sell someday. Um, but the very first step to making anything and solving any problem, we learned is really determining exactly what the problem is. So we interviewed um, several sources in Alaska, people who are literally living in Alaska, um, who would potentially use our product. And what that allowed us to do was really hone in on exactly what they need. So for instance, um, we learned that they needed a low power of rugged device that they could use. It wouldn't help if they had to set up like cell phone towers or a large infrastructure. They wanted something that was a standalone system. So that was one of the main things that we learned during the research, during the, during the process. That's really cool. Congratulations again. And you really are outstanding students. Um, you make me proud to be here at Catholic University. So thank you. Thank you, Provost. Our next Research Day Award is for the best presentation by an undergraduate student or team. The winners are the team of Christina Ciola, Sarah Beretic, and Aaron Costello from the Electrical Engineering Computer Science Department in the School of Engineering for their presentation titled, Machine Learning for Detection of Intractable Seizure Location in pediatric patients with EEG data. The group was advised by Dr. Lin Ching Chang and will be represented by Aaron. Would Aaron please join the webinar? Congratulations, Aaron, to you and your entire team. Would you like to say a few words? Hi, thank you, yes. Um, I just wanted to point out again, um, Christina Ciola and Sarah Veritich, who we all worked on the project together and we would like to thank Dr. Chang, Dr. Matthew Jacobs, and um, Dr. Nimbatala for helping us and guiding us along during our project. Tell us a little bit about how you and your team chose this particular topic for your oral presentation. So this was done as part of our senior design project. And we took a long time trying to decide really what we wanted to do and like what would be the best for our group and to further our own knowledge. So we decided it from there. Great. Well, congratulations again to you and your team, Erin. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Our next Research Day Award is for the best poster by a master's student or team of master's students. The winners this year are Raquel Castillo-Cruz, Olga Rebzina, Katie Chang, Kiki Klein, Annie Hart, and Catherine Fox from Catholic's Psychology Department, Rochester University, 
and the University of Denver for their poster titled Outness and Wellbeing Among LGBT Latinx Individuals During COVID-19. The group was advised by Dr. Abby Adler and will be represented by Raquel Castillo Cruz. Would Raquel please join the webinar? Hi, yes. Uh, thank you, Provost Dominguez. Um, first, I wanted to say thank you so much to my advisor, um, Dr. Abby Adler Mandel, um, and my collaborator, Olga Rivzina. Um, and also thanks to the University of Denver. Um, I am just so grateful for this opportunity. And um, yeah, thank you for all my support system, my family as well. <laughs> That's great. Congratulations, Raquel. Tell us how this collaboration came about with these other two universities, Denver and, and Rochester. Sure, yeah. So my um, fellow collaborator, Olga Ripsina, um, had first access to the data um, through her own work with the University of Denver. And I've always been interested in finding ways um, that we can incorporate cultural differences awareness um, into treatment and preventative care in the psych field. Um, and so we just got to chatting and we found in common interest and we started working together and that's that's how we came up with it that's fantastic congratulations again to you and your whole team thank you so much our next research day award is for the best presentation by a master's student or team of master's students the winner this year is heather wasik from the national catholic school of social service for her presentation titled Child Labor Trafficking in the United States, Recommendations on Improving Identification and Response Based on the Literature. She was advised by Dr. Mary Graw Leary. Would Heather please join the webinar? Hi, yes. Um, thank you. I guess I'll just give a big thank you to Dr. Graw Leary um, in the law school, even though I know she's not on right now because she's teaching a class. Um, but I had a unique opportunity to take a class with her that was a crossover between the law school and the social work school. And it was the favorite class I've taken. Um, so I also just wanna say thank you to the survivors of human trafficking that I've worked with, um, even though they're also not on. <laughs> um, and uh, just grateful for any attention that can be brought to the issue of child labor trafficking in the US. Tell us a little bit about what influenced you to work um, in this really heartbreaking and difficult topic? Sure, um, even though it's heartbreaking and difficult, um, if you get to know a survivor of human trafficking, you'll see amazing resilience and you'll see um, a lot of heart and compassion. So I think that really it's, it's when you get to know somebody who's had some traumatic experiences that you are inspired to continue in the field. Well, that's, that's beautiful, thank you. And congratulations again, Heather. Our next research day award is for the best poster by a doctoral student or team of doctoral students. The winner this year is Sarah Rohrbaugh from the Conway School of Nursing for her poster titled, A Phenomenological Approach to the Understanding of the Lived Experience of Certified Registered Nurse Anesthetists, followed by an interoperative, interoperative patient death. She was advised by Dr. Janice Agazio. Would Sarah please join the webinar? Sarah, congratulations. Provost Domingo, I would, I'm very humbled by uh, given this opportunity and would like to thank my committee chaired by Dr. Agazio, um, my friends and family, of course, as well as my colleagues at Catholic and um, at, in my practice. This is something that has become very near and dear to me. Um, and I hope by doing my research, I can shed some light on what this experience is like for um, my colleagues. What this is a difficult subject matter, and it, it is a personal one for many of us um, who've, who've had family members um, who've suffered like this. What, what, what are the positive outcomes that you discovered in your research? So my research is still ongoing at this point. Um, I'm in the middle of my data collection phase, but I'm hopeful that the experience and the information I gleaned from completing my research will help um, bring this into the forelight. Right now, I think a lot of um, 
providers who experience an intraoperative death, especially in the OR, um, kind of feel that they can't talk about, they can't um, really acknowledge their feelings. And I want to ensure that we're taking care of our providers, bringing this to the fore late um, so that people feel comfortable talking about it um, and letting people know that they need help coping with the experience um, to improve our well being as providers, but also to improve the well being of and the care that we provide to subsequent patients. Great. Thank you very much, Sarah, and congratulations again. Our final research day award is for the best presentation by a doctoral student or team of doctoral students. And our winners this year are Ana Luisa Tridade Falcao, TC Fisher, DM Crenshaw, M. Ravelsky, H.R. Schmidt, W.P. Maxim, M. Vestergaard, M. Elvis, Martin Gaskell, F. Harmon, H. C. Lowe, J. Hutchins, R. Mushowski, H. Netzer, T. Storchi Bergman, J. Turner, and M. J. Ward, and from the physics department uh, in the School of Arts and Sciences for their presentation titled Shaping Galaxies with Supermassive Black Hole Winds. The group was advised by Dr. Stephen Kramer and will be represented by Anna. Anna, would you please join the webinar and congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'd like to thank my advisor, Dr. Kramer, and all our team, all our uh, collaborators. And uh, I'm very proud to be part of this team. And I'd also like to thank all the organizers of this research day for giving me the opportunity to, to present my work. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's really cool work, uh, what you're, you and your team are doing. Could tell us, tell the, um, the group listening a little bit about um, the expected remaining life of the Hubble telescope and the upcoming uh, telescopes that would be used for this kind of research in the future. Yeah, so basically uh, my research uh, uses Hubble data and we will continue to use Hubble data, but now we have a James Webb telescope coming soon. So uh, we are probably gonna use some data of James Webb, but uh, the other telescopes that we have available, they are observed in different um regions of the spectrum so for us that we we like to observe in the optical hubble is still a very very good um tool that can be used for many many years well congratulations again and very thank impressive you. work thank you Anna. thank you well this concludes the research day for the year 2021 of our Lord. And uh, thank you very much for everybody who participated, students and faculty and the people joining in and watching the presentations um, and awards ceremony. And I really wanna thank, especially thank the Research Day Committee uh, for their work, Anita, Shagne, Shaolong Luo and Becky. And um, throw it back to Becky for uh, the concluding remarks uh, to close out this wonderful Research Day. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, on, on behalf of my co-chairs, Anita Shagney and Shalong Lu and the entire Research Day Committee, I'd like to thank Provost Dominguez for hosting the award ceremony, the web services team for making this possible, and to everyone in the audience for joining us. I encourage you to head to researchday.catholic.edu to check out not only the award winners and finalists, but all of the presentations that took place today. These will remain open for the coming weeks. This concludes the award ceremony of the sixth annual University Research Day.